Hi friends, we were so excited to start out this video that we forgot to actually start the video. Yeah. So here it is, <laughs> right? So along this video, uh, you're going to see us tour the island. We used a app called Shaka Guide that helped us and basically got us throughout the island of Oahu. It was so amazing. Um, yeah. Yes, and the wind during this tour was quite intense. Oh, so there are a lot of voiceovers during this whole video and also there is one little part where the wind was so strong that it literally shook the camera so sorry about that <laughs> but it's a great video and we are gonna start at Biyoto Inn so here we go this is so beautiful this is a replica of a temple in Japan and it's absolutely stunning and the gong's right over there so this is information on the sacred bell it says it's believed that the unique tones uh, clear the mind of negativity, imparts deep peace, and brings happiness, blessings, and a long life. And here's a meditation temple. Beautiful. Just gonna sit in here for a minute or two. Take a look at this view. We just finished up at the temple and right outside there's this beautiful lookout where you can see just amazing views of everything that's around. Oh, it's so beautiful and peaceful here. Gorgeous. There's the ocean back there. This is amazing. That's Brandon over there. We're taking a little pit stop at the Tropical Nut Farm. The tour guide in our little app thing says that they have free samples, so that'll be fun. This is Harry and Mary Lake, and the people who work here and own this place are the ancestors of them, or they are the ancestors of the people who work here, and they said that they love service and God's children and all the native Hawaiians, and they um, they were super generous and had a really great work ethic and sense of humor, so this is to honor them. So we're at the tropical farm place where they have nuts and whatnot. So let's see what's in here. Oh, look at those paintings. I want to buy them. Oh, I love this. These are so beautiful. This is some... Kona macadamia and that coffee. We're both gonna try it. I think they have some milk over here. Do you wanna put some milk in it? I'm nervous. I feel like you gotta try it though, you know? Oh, How is it? It's good? Yeah. Can I try some? I'm definitely not gonna like it because I don't like coffee, but. It's actually pretty good. It's delicious. Wow. It's Kona. I think you can buy the beans. You can. That's awesome. They have a bunch of macadamia nuts to try. These are the honey roasted. They also have uh, Kona coffee glaze, caramel. We're going to try some of these. Some more of these. Salted, cinnamon, Maui onion and garlic, and popcorn. Wow. Yeah, we got to try them all. Ready? Yeah, try it. That's really good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Isn't it so good? That's amazing. It like pops in your mouth. Wow. Mm. That just tastes like dessert. Just beat out everything. They also have samples of hot sauce over here. 
and like jams and stuff. We got lots of good stuff. Brandon already bought this hot sauce before we knew we could try things, so he's gonna try it now. Hopefully he likes it. Well, that's really good. Oh good, I'm so glad. I was afraid you were gonna be like, I don't like it. That's <laughs> really good. Lillacois and coconut syrup. Yum. Wow, guava sweet rolls, that's probably so delicious. Mango sweet rolls, this is so cool. There are some Lance Fairley, I guess they're a local artist prints. We're definitely getting one. <laughs> so I love how they have this sign over here with each of the states and like license plates from those states. So we have Jersey and Massachusetts up over there. But they don't have Hawaii and they don't have Alaska. Unless I'm just messing it. And just like usual, look at this beautiful, beautiful, breathtaking view. Featuring some of our new friends, the chickens. I mean, probably just hatched a couple days ago. How cute and fluffy they are with their mommy. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, we weren't gonna stop there. <laughs> and I'm so, so glad that we did. We got so much cool stuff. We tried so many free samples and we got macadamia nuts and Brandon got some special hot sauce two special hot sauces. Yes, so I'm so, so thrilled that we did that. I was like, uh, I don't know, it's probably like silly and touristy. And like there were a lot of tourists there, but there's nothing wrong with that. We are tourists, we're not from here. So I think it's always best to explore as much as you possibly can, even if it seems a little silly. But this was um, Tropical Farms, the macadamia nut place, and it was amazing. I definitely recommend it. It was so much fun. There were so many local vendors. It was just delicious too. This little island is called Chinaman's Hat, named after its resemblance to the straw hats worn by early Chinese immigrants. Its Hawaiian name is Moko Li'i, which means Little Lizard Island, because in Hawaiian legend, this was formed because a giant lizard attacked a goddess and she fought back and threw its tail into the ocean. This island used to be a part of Oahu, but now it is not due to erosion. Apparently, Kualoa used to be a sugar mill. Yeah, that's what the guy said in the uh, tour. Yeah, but now it's it's still a working ranch, but it's also a really big tourist destination. And they film a lot of movies here and TV shows. Lost was filmed here, Jurassic Park, The Hunger Games, etc., etc. We're just going into the visitor center and gift shop. So I haven't seen this one, but I have seen this. And Jurassic I, World? Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. And I can vouch that I do recognize this from the movie. Yeah. And it says this is uh, Dennis Nidrise uh, or uh, Dodson. This is uh, his uh, table set dressing and it's on loan from Sydney. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. And I do remember the scene with the, the barber soul. I don't think I've ever seen this movie. All right. Beautiful. There's a rooster. Hello. Hello. It's, it's, it's amazing. Living is the best life. We're coming to look at the backdrop over here. Oh, ponies! Let's see the ponies, Baina. Hey there. How you doing? Wow. Hi, Sleepy. Is it okay if I say hello? Yeah. Good boy. Good girl. Nose pets. We are now at the Hui Lua fish pond. So I don't really know. I guess there's going to be a lot of fishies over here. To your left, there's a whole bunch of water. So we didn't find any fish, but this Hui Lua fish pond is very, very old and has been around for hundreds of years. And also they think that this may have been where the Aloha spirit came from because when fishermen would find fish, they would always keep some for passerbyers to welcome them and make them feel included. We found a coconut. There's nothing in it. Nothing in it? No. It probably cracked when it fell. We're headed back to the car. There wasn't much to see there aside from beautiful views. So we're gonna go to our next stop. So this is Chang's General Store. It's actually one of the original stores that was built here on Oahu and the only original store to survive the Great Depression. So we thought we would check it out and get some Spam Musubi for Brandon. This is just like a cute little store with a whole bunch of stuff in it, like a corner store kind of. 
we're gonna ask for the spam masubi because I don't know where it is. It's just some potato mac. Maybe I'll get some of that. So I know, they were out of spam masubi. So we'll have to keep looking. This is a beach we saw along the way on our drive that would be the perfect place for us to eat lunch. The beaches in Hawaii are pretty much all public and beautiful, so we stopped here to eat our lunch on white sand looking at some clear blue water. And Brandon ended up getting some chicken that he said was really good, and I got the potato mac salad, and that was also yum. This is La Ie Point right now, and that right there is a gorgeous sea arc. And this also used to be part of Oahu, but no longer is due to erosion and is now its own little island. But it's really beautiful over here, and that is no surprise. There are really big waves over here, and the water is just like insanely blue. And then down over a little ways, there's someone fishing, which seems like it's a lot of fun. We are now entering the Laie Temple to just take a peek at it. It is a Mormon temple, and I didn't know before this that there were a lot of Mormons who had lived in Oahu and had that much influence there. And they actually call this temple the Taj Mahal of the Pacific, which I don't know if I would call it that, but it is quite nice looking. We found the food truck location. We also have art over here that we're gonna have to check out. They have the menus up here, which is really smart. They've got some like acai bowls, some, I think this is like barbecue, Kona coffee, tacos. This is like a mix of stuff. And then over here we have like t-shirts and things like that. I think I'll check that out. And over here there was also some souvenirs. So this is fun. And it's almost at the front. This is the Giovanni's truck. It has all people's names and stuff. They encourage you to like graffiti their truck. So that's really fun. Brandon got his famous Giovanni's. You got the scampi? Scampi. They, they said that was popular? That was the most popular. I'm excited. Did you, do you remember how he told you to eat the shrimp? You gotta suck it, you gotta peel it, they gotta eat it. In that order. It's good. Is, does it live up to the hype? Good, I'm glad. Julia's in line to get this frozen yogurt from this, um, looks like it's a, a organic place, or uh, natural, so I think she'll be excited for that. I ordered from Ono Yo, and Ono means delicious, and the Yo is for yogurt. So this is um, dragon fruit yogurt with pineapple, kiwi, strawberries, raspberries, and Oreos. And no honey, because I didn't want the honey. I should have gotten guava sauce, but I think that that would be like a bit much, mm -hmm. so I'm excited. All right, try it and let me know how it is. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Wow. Is it better than the one we had the other day? No. The one we had the other day wasn't frozen yogurt. Mm -hmm. So it's different. This is oh, more like dessert -y. This is not an acai bowl? No, it's frozen yogurt. Ah, uh, got you, got you. They have acai bowls, but I don't like acai. Mm -hmm. So I just got it the one time and that was good. We're at the art gallery. Even the fire hydrant is painted fun. We loved all the colors in this art, and we actually met the artist, and he was really nice and funny, and we did buy a piece from here. So, just got back to the car. Wanted to talk about Giovanni's real quick. Uh, it was great, um, and the tour, the tour guide basically said you got to suck on the shrimp to get off all the, the flavoring and the juices, and you have to uh, peel the shrimp, then you eat the shrimp. So that's exactly what I did. It was a great um, like piece of advice. Um, I got the, the shrimp scampi here. It was so good. It was very buttery and garlicky. Had a great taste to it. Um, we, we talked to, because we got a piece of art that we'll uh, hopefully show you guys. He said sometimes, especially on Sundays, the line could be up to three hours long for Giovanni's. No. That's so long. And I, um, I mean, we I probably waited in line maybe 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And then another maybe five five to seven minutes to get the, the food, which was great. But um, I wouldn't be able to wait three hours. It no. was great. I loved it. Uh, definitely glad uh, I got to try it. Um, but yeah, and um, something else that I really loved, they had sinks over there because you get really messy and really yeah. dirty. So I really appreciated the, the sink, so I was able to 
wash off my hands and stuff. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, it was really good. All right, where are we going next? Honestly, I don't know. All right, let's check. We'll find out and you'll see when we see. We made it to the beach. This is called Sunset Beach. There's really good sunsets here, but we're also gonna look for some surfers. This is the most crowded beach that we had seen our whole trip and it's really not even crowded at all. And it was really very beautiful. They said, like our tour guide person on our phone, said that surfing season is between November and February when the waves are big. And all other times you don't really see surfers that much because the waves aren't big enough. Which I didn't know that. That's really interesting. We got a coconut. I said we're on the North Shore. We need to drink from a coconut. We also saw a lot of surfers, which is something we wanted to do and see. Yes. So that's checked off on the bucket list. Unfortunately, they were too far away for us to show you. Yeah. But you'll have to take our word for it. It was really cool. I'm going to try the coconut. That doesn't taste like how I expected it. Try it. No. It's not bad. It just doesn't have that much of a flavor. It just tastes like refreshing. I agree. I like it though. I'm gonna drink this with the top down and enjoy our North Shore life. Okay, we made it to Pipeline, the most famous surf spot. I have the camera on some surfers. Hopefully they'll do something sometime soon so you can see some surfing. It's really cool. This is one of the most dangerous surfing spots. The guide was telling us because there's a reef and if you fall, you land on a really sharp reef. So it's extremely dangerous and basically deadly, but it has really good waves so people do it anyways. Yeah, there's a dangerous shore break over here, the sign says. Someone's doing it, someone's doing it. Oh my gosh, ah, look how good. That was awesome. They were saying that all the big surf shops like Billabong have mansions along the North Shore. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they're doing so good. That's so cool. Oh my God, we're at Lani Ikea, Turtle Beach. Holy moly, it's massive. Okay, this is an adult male. His name's Oogly. How awesome. We'll go over there when it's a little bit less crowded. This is how. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy right now. This is the best. While Brandon was taking this footage, I was talking to one of the people who work with the turtles, and they had told me that this turtle had just come back from a two-year hiatus where they haven't seen her in a while because she's been hanging out probably on a different island, but they were so excited that she had just come back. And you can actually scan that little QR code in the corner if you want to donate or adopt um, these turtles that they work with on this beach. Oh, she's so beautiful. You can see a gash right there. She literally like just came back, um, but they were able to pick her up a bit. Was, he said it was probably from a boating accident. But she said that she's one of the biggest turtles. Just so you guys know, some of, sometimes these turtles look a lot like rocks. So if you don't see a turtle right away, just get a little bit closer or walk a little bit more and you probably will see turtles. To continue We're the tour up to your the Rainbow Bridge. Bridge. Just drive down this road to the end of the town and the tour will pick up from there. And for our final stop for today, we are at Matsumoto's Shave Ice. You excited? I'm so excited. I'm just finding somewhere for us to eat dinner after. Let me see your hat. Just show them your hat, maybe we'll get a discount. They have lots of flavors and options to choose from. We're here! The moment we've all been waiting for, Matsumoto Shave Ice. Lilikoi, Mango, and Guava. Very loud. I'm going to try to get all the flavors at once. Oh my god. Even better? Try this. That's good flavors. 
It's so flavorful. It's so good. This is way better than Alani's. You think? Yeah. You don't think so? It's just, to me, it, it's, it's great, but it's just flavored ice. He doesn't get it. Hence the half. <laughs> And so ends our beautiful, relaxing, paradise trip. adventure in Aulani Disney Spa and Resort. Yes. Aloha for now. Hi everyone. If you're watching along thinking how can I book an awesome vacation just like this one, feel free to reach out to me because I can help. I'm a travel agent and I specialize in all things Disney. So if you want some help booking your next vacation, feel free to reach out to me. I'll leave the email listed in the description down below and I look forward to hearing from you.